सो लीगल फील्ड में जब हम लोग आते हैं तो इनिशियली अगर आप देखोगे दैट इन पास्ट फ्यू डेकेट्स दे आर नंबर ऑफ लॉ लॉ स्कूल कम्स इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस दे आर वेरियस नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटीज सो द प्राइम्स लाइक एजेंडा ऑफ एस्टेब्लिशिंग दीज नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटीज वर्स सो वी शुड बी हैविंग गुड इंटेलेक्चुअल माइंड इन दी फील्ड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इनिशियली ये था लेकिन उसके बाद क्या होता है उसके बाद जैसे ही ये लॉ स्कूल से अच्छे अच्छे पैकेजेस में होते हैं पीपल शिफ्ट टू कॉर्पोरेट हाउसेस और जब हम देखते हैं जैसे मैंने विजिट किया इनिशियली देर आर थर्टी लैक लॉयर्स इन द कंट्री तो इनिशियली एक जो है एक इंप्रेशन जाता है कि बहुत ही कॉम्पिटेटिव फील्ड है लेकिन जब आप रियल में प्रैक्टिस में आते हो तो यू ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर वेरी फ्यू गुड लॉयर्स बहुत कम है जो अच्छे लॉयर्स हैं और फिर आपको स्कोप देखना शुरू हो जाता है कि मैं यहाँ पे प्रैक्टिस कर सकता हूँ नहीं कर सकता so there are few various avenues available for you and i have just classified it into four that advocacy that is the hard core litigation there are judicial examinations and just after your uh, like degree you can sit for that examinations and you can become the junior division civil judge or the magistrate and there are and there is also like The, the the judiciary examination are class, classified into two. One is lower judiciary examinations, and the other is higher judiciary examination, which you can give after seven years of practice in advocacy. There are corporate lawyers who are like engaged in mergers and acquisitions and other corporate law related areas, and there are other career paths also, which like you can classify these other paths also. into lpos working in lpos uh working as an in house counsel working as an associate senior associate partner in a law firm so there are other avenues also lekin hum kya dekhte hain ki we are studying so much we are studying cpc cc rpc abhi jo recently jo new laws aaye hain whether that has been included in your curriculum or not no so right now you are studying crpc and ipc and once you get into practice you fails to figure out most of the people fails to figure out that how to practically apply all this in a court of law because that that is the main hurdle which comes before you when you get into practice to use kaise karna hai usko kaise sort out karna hai ye bahut major factor hota hai और यही एक इंपॉर्टेंट चैलेंज होता है जो लगता है कि अब हम यहाँ पे चीजों को कैसे सॉर्ट आउट करेंगे कैसे हम देखेंगे कि किस प्रकार से हम प्रैक्टिस में खुद को स्टैब्लिश कर सकते हैं और जब आप फर्स्ट जनरेशन लॉयर होते हो तो ये सारी चीजें और डिफिकल्ट हो जाती हैं बिकॉज देयर इज नो मेंटरशिप देयर इज नो एक्सपीरियंस देयर इज नो वॉट फॉर अदर्स सो दैट बिकम्स मोर डिफिकल्ट प्लीज चेंज दिस लाइफ हर्ष You can have a chair over there. Take chair. Take chair. Take chair. Because this remote is not working. Okay. So there are general problems which are faced by the students. Change the slide. We are having high expectations. Is it going? What are they saying? Now, if you come to law college, you will start to say, "Okay, sir, what are they saying?" कितने लोगों के साथ हुआ है अब कई लोग बोले तो जो है एडवोकेट भी इतना शुरू करता है नीचे प्रैक्टिस में लेते हैं परसों ही <laughs> ऐसे भी शुरू कर देते हैं सोशल मीडिया वेबसाइट से जितने भी प्लेटफॉर्म पर उसको शुरू कर देते हैं देन वी सी दैट देयर इज एन इंक्रीज्ड कंपटीशन बिकॉज़ एवरी ईयर वी आर लाइक वेलकमिंग द बार काउंसिल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेट्स एंड द बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया आर वेलकमिंग 60 to 70 thousands of law graduates, law graduates every year. So this is huge competition. And उसके बाद देखते हैं कि multiple career options होते हैं हमारे पास. समझ में नहीं आता practice में जाएं या नहीं जाएं. अभी भी आप देखिए आप ये plus school में all तो मैं seminar दे दूँ. लेकिन बहुत चुनिंदा लोग होंगे जो practice में आपको दिखाई देंगे after completion of your degree. Then higher benchmarks, change the slide. 
कि हमें लगता है नहीं इसके लिए तो बहुत अलग लेवल के स्किल्स चाहिए व्हेन यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग इन हाई कोर्ट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट सीम्स दैट दीज आर द पीपल फ्रॉम सम अनदर वर्ल्ड जो वहां पे बेस्ट कर रहे हैं हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव बीन टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज इट एनी कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट ओके हाई कोर्ट में भी अगर आप जाओगे इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर यू सी दैट द द वे द लॉयर्स आर आर्ग्यूइंग ओवर देयर बिफोर द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ इट सीम्स दैट इट रिक्वायर्स अ ग्रेट स्किल तो वो कैसे डेवलप करना बिकॉज़ इनिशियली व्हेन आई वेंट टू प्रैक्टिस आई वाज हैविंग नो आईडिया कि इस स्किल कैसे डेवलप करना है क्योंकि अब ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ माय डिग्री देयर आर वेरी फ्यू इंटर्नशिप्स व्हिच आई वाज गेटिंग पता नहीं था कि इंटर्नशिप कैसे लेनी है इंटर्नशिप के लिए अप्लाई करने का भी ये कुछ ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं था कोई ऐसा प्रोसेस नहीं था लूप वीडियो प्रोसेस जो आपको मिलेगा चेंज द साइड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स की मोशन नहीं होगा This is very difficult. Mm-hmm. Nahi initially. Exploitation hota hai bahut zyada. People are are working till midnight. They are coming out of seniors chambers at 2 a.m. in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning. They are like all the day are they are running from pillar to post in the courtrooms. And after they are done with the court work, they are sitting with the seniors, dealing with the clients. And after the conclusion of client meetings, they are again ready for preparing for. the cases which are coming tomorrow so it takes on diet so these are the challenges which comes in your life so there are few personal attributes which are required in a legal profession jo ek lawyer ke paas hona chahiye there is a saying in english that a lawyer should know something about everything and everything about something क्योंकि आपके पास कोई भी क्लाइंट आएगा वो कुछ भी आपसे पूछना शुरू कर देगा और मैनी टाइम्स वेरियस क्लाइंट्स टर्म्स जिसे जिनको लॉ का नॉलेज आपसे ज्यादा होता है जमीन से प्रैक्टिस में जाता है दे आर स्पीकिंग दे आर लाइक कन्वर्जिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टैच्यूट और आप गूगल कर रहे हैं कौन सेक्शन के बारे में जिक्र कर रहे हैं सो अ लॉयर इज अ कॉन्टिन्यूस लर्नर दैट्स वाई इज कॉल्ड प्रैक्टिस हमेशा उसे पढ़ते रहना है जितनी भी लीगल अपडेट्स हो रही हैं उसके बारे में उसे अपडेट रहना है व्हेन आई वाज वर्किंग विद वन सीनियर माय सीनियर ही वाज अ सीनियर एडवोकेट इन ऑनरेबल द हाई कोर्ट एंड हिज वाइफ वाज अ जज इन द हाई कोर्ट इटसेल्फ एंड व्हेन आई सॉ हिम ही वाज अराउंड 65 टू 70 इयर्स ऑफ एज एंड स्टिल थ्रू द एंटायर आई डू ही वाज रीडिंग सम जर्नल्स सम एससीसी जर्नल्स एंड रीडिंग सम जजमेंट्स and i got so impressed ki itni age mein bhi itna dedication hai ki continuously padhte ja rahe and that's why the people are charging like per appearance in lakhs of rupees so it requires a lot of efforts to be able to match that standard and one day i came like i was discussing with sir that should i go for judiciary or should i go for practice okay because i was having 2 3 years of experience then and i was asking him sir should i go for practice or should i go for judiciary because many of my friends who are appearing for judicial examinations some are getting into that some are still waiting some are uh, like going for some other in house counsel some other corporate jobs so there were very few people which were able to survive in hard court litigation so he told me one thing and that remains with me till now and he he was saying anu look my wife is a high court judge okay i am a senior advocate but judiciary is good but practice is practice because what practice gives you it gives you a independent attitude like you are accountable to none except your clients <laughs> and like when it comes to judiciary you are serving the society although it depends on your taste also because if someone asks should i become a batsman or a bowler it depends on your skills it depends on your innate nature but as far as my experience goes like when you are into practice you are getting like you have no restrictions you are like should be available to everyone which is quite difficult when you are into judgeship 
and uh, you can like serve the society in a better manner because a judge is limited to his or her jurisdiction but a lawyer can make an impact anywhere all the judgeship also provides a good avenue and good opportunities to serve the society but as far as my understanding goes lawyer is better situated so my purpose is not to like demoralize students when it comes to appearing for judicial examination and initially i told that it depends on your own innate nature and your own taste but if you are like vocal if you are social if you are good at argumentative skills if you are good at logical reasoning analytical reasoning then you should opt for practice because our society is in desperate need of good lawyers so you have jaoge ghar i have seen multiple cases where clients are suffering not because a lesser understanding of law but they are suffering because they have engaged bad lawyers there are number of cases which are running in high court supreme court district courts so there is desperate need of good lawyers in the society then the first skill is sharp analytical mind there is a saying in um, in in the lawyer groups also that a lawyer sees everything in life just like a case uske sath mein koi bhi dispute aa jaye uska bhi wife se ladai ho jaye uske sections aane lagte hain mark uske bahar bhi dispute ho jaye wo har cheez ko case ki tarah se dekhta hai to agar koi bhi are in general sense we call it a legal kind of mind ye kaise hota hai ki aapko koi bhi problem aapke samne hai और एनालिटिकली आप उसके पॉसिबिलिटीज देख रहे हो कि अगर ये वाला लीगल कोर्स राइट लेंगे तो कैसे कितनी पॉसिबिलिटीज है कि इसको रिलीफ मिलेगा और अगर नहीं लेंगे दूसरा अगर हम ऑप्शन अवेलेबल करेंगे तो कितनी पॉसिबिलिटीज है इसको रिलीफ मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा और किसी भी केस को समझने के लिए कि ये केस जो है किस नेचर का है क्रिमिनल है सिविल है क्योंकि मैनी टाइम्स केसेस comes before you which involves like rigors of every like branch of law whether it's civil or criminal ek single case aata hai aapke aage usme aap dekh bhi sakte ho isme criminal sections bhi attract ho rahe hain aur civil remedies bhi hain to ye sab ye sab bahut strong hona chahiye aur kaise aayega the regular updation with the legal news the updates regarding the legal advancement going in the society the next is power of logical reasoning and concentration law profession demands undivided attention as seems like lawyers and myself also that you have to work very hard you have to give everything you are having like you are reading entire night in the morning there are events when i was preparing for some cases I was like working on some research till five in the morning. Thereafter, I got ready. I went directly to my car. I asked my shopper to drive it and went to the court. Just argued my case, got a relief, and come back home. And after I got a good nap. So you have to give your entire night for it if you are into practice. Many a times, not always. Many a times you have to give this and undivided attention. That focus is. extremely necessary and it is second to none when it comes to skills which you need in advocacy argumentative abilities that no substitute for this and another thing is when you are like having some argument with someone like one thing which is like utterly and desperately required in legal profession is good command over english that is like the most important trait which you requires when you comes to practice because in india the official language and of high court and supreme courts is english if you will restrict yourself to your regional language whether it's hindi marathi uh, and like other languages bengali kannada and other languages then you would be able to practice till the district courts 
But when you want command in High Court and Supreme Court, you need English. So that is like inadequable requirement for practice. And presence of mind. Many times when question pops out from the bench, like you are arguing a case before a judge, it requires a presence of mind how you are going to respond to a particular query of the bench. So that requires a presence of mind. And presence of mind comes with hard work and experience. Because we cannot expect that on a single day you went before the court and at the very spot you develop that presence of mind. Because that comes with experience. Because there are very the procedural understanding which you should have under your belt when you are arguing before the court. And that comes with experience. You cannot expect, because Kaiba Kesa Otaki, we have set high expectations. Yes, Ahoga. But when we go before the bench and we know, okay, I have a good command over CPC, CRPC, IPC, everything, I have done everything, I have got a gold medal in my university, everything. But when you are appearing before a bench, a random question pops up and you are having no idea how to respond to this. And on your response depends the entire destiny of your client. That how you are going to respond to it. Because your response is very essential for the fate of the case. So that comes with experience. And in the event you are like not able to give a particular answer to a specific query, there are various code craft which you can utilize to like getting out of that troublesome situation. So which you can learn through mentorship, through observing lawyers, how they are arguing in courts. Because many a times we ask interns that when they are coming for internship, they should like spend most of their time in courtrooms. When they will observe the lawyers that they are putting their arguments before the court. So that gives you some understanding that in the event I am unable to give response to a particular query, this is the manner in which I have to respond. Then there is confidence and excellent communication skill that comes under that. Listening skills, you have to be a good listener. Because suppose a bench is putting some query upon you and you haven't given any of yours to that query, then what will be the fate of your case? <laughs> you will get a highly adverse order. Because a lawyer, first he has to be a good listener. Courts may, and specifically in high courts and supreme court, argument doesn't go like this, ki tarik pe tarik, lord, ye galat hai na, insaf hi aisa nahi hota hai, insaf aap yehi pe dekhte ho. A lawyer is a gentleman, and he like put forth his or her argument in a manner which is like truthful, and it depends from case to case. And simultaneously pleasing to the ears and to the judges as well as to the other counsels also. There is one shloka in Shastra which says, Satyam Priyam Hitam Chaya. Ki, the argument should contain three traits. Satyam Priyam Hitam. It comes in Bhagavad Gita. Satyam is, it should be on the basis of facts of the case. Hitam means, hit means, it is in benefit of your client. And Priyam means it should be pleasing to the ears. And thereafter, commercial awareness that when you are quoting fees to the client, <laughs> that how you should like quote fees because this is one important aspect of litigation. Many a times people feel, okay, I am good at law, I am good at argumentative skills, I am good, I am like fully updated with the, all the recent developments in the legal scenario. But if you are not good at client dealings, client is client is for whom you are going to contest. So this is one important issue that you have to be social. जैसे ही आपकी लॉकी डिग्री आती है सबसे पहले एक विजिटिंग कार्ड्स बना के रखो सबसे पहले पहला काम क्या होता है व्हेन आई गोट द 500 रुपीस फ्रॉम माय सीनियर इनिशियली एट द फर्स्ट मंथ ऑफ माय प्रैक्टिस 
I spend it the entire amount for my visiting cards. <laughs> ये बड़े-बड़े visiting cards बनाते हैं। उसके बाद you have to be social. Whether you remain active on social media, you should remain active in social gatherings within the permitted rules of bar council of India. Rules are because a lawyer cannot do publicity, but there are other you have you have to remain social. That is like required when you are advocacy and legal profession. Then teamwork and people skills. You need a team. Right now we are, we are having eight nine lawyers in our office who are working. So you need a team. You need one who draft. You need one who do research. You need someone who like goes into the depth of the case, assemble the entire files, brief you the facts. And what is there? Who is going to argue the case? So you need the entire set of people. And when it comes to drafting, like one of the important trait which you need in legal practice is drafting. Drafting is very important. Because drafting, he or she is there, job to teach you how to argue the case. If you are not a good drafter, you cannot be a good arguing counsel. So what takes when you have to? Give a good hand in drafting. There is one simple formula which I apply when I draft my cases. Do you have a subject? Drafting, because at over time it was there. I, I think in like next year or third or fourth year, they will be having you will be having one subject of drafting. So I utilize this formula when I draft a case. That formula is known as MACJ. M A C J. So MACJ. Teach you that how to draft a case. ये आपको कैसे draft करना है? So M is the formula MAJ stands for madman. Initially you have to draft it like a madman. You do not know anything. Whatever comes to you, there are different sets of papers, different files, and whatever comes to your mind, just draft it like this. Then thereafter, after that, you are having that rough draft. Become an architect. A. Architect means you are settling the facts of the case in a chronological manner, like events after events, and you are setting the entire draft, which goes in a perfect flow. And thereafter, C stands for carpenter. You have to brush up everything. You have to formulate in such a manner that it should be pleasing when someone is reading it. It should give the proper facts of the case in a simple language. Do not be very like uh, sophisticated when it comes to English language. Put it simply, because nowadays, uh, our honourable the, the Chief Justice of India, Justice Deepak Chandrachur, is also like stating this point. The lawyer, lawyers have to be very simple when it comes to arguments. The client should understand it. And J stands for judge. Thereafter, judge your entire draft. Once you are like done with M A C, so M stands for madman, A stands for architecture, and C stands for and J stands for judge, judge your own draft. So these are the skills which you can utilize. Because I figured out all this after reading so many books on it, and I am giving you this gist of one book on drafting. And thereafter, self motivation and initiative. You have to keep yourself motivated when you are getting very near the amount of stipend or salary in the very beginning, because it would be very difficult initially if you are getting into law practice to make the ends meet, even that for with that one ten eight thousand ten thousand fifty thousand initially which you are getting. But when you are able to grasp all these skills which is required for your own independent practice, so initially my experience says that it takes three years. To get those skills initially, to make you able to perform well in legal scenario, that takes at least three years. So for initial three years, if you are having no like family responsibilities, you should give at least three years in practice. And initial six months, I would suggest you should go for some district court like. Uh, like you should spend some time in district court to 
become familiar with the procedure over there. Thereafter, you should spend a year in high court. Then you can think of like coming into Supreme Court and dealing with specialty petitions, with petitions, transfer petitions, of in interstate transfer. Then you can come to Supreme Court. So initially, you should give at least three years of your life after obtaining your degree into legal practice. And after even three years, you will observe that now sky is the limit. Now I have everything. Now, and you have to be social because that's how plantation will come. So you will be able to observe that now I can like make a good impact in legal field. Okay. Then research and problem solving that is required. You have to be a good researcher. That is a prime requisite when it comes to legal field. Because some, because I can recall that once a time a big client were coming to my senior's chamber and they and my sir and his daughter were searching from the morning some judgment on that specific issue. And they were saying in, in the evening this client, this is a big client, he is the owner of a minefield and there is some labor dispute and we need this research. And they were like from the morning till afternoon they were on to some research and they were not getting it. And like sir told me this is the research, you have to get it. And after this 20 minutes I got the relevant judgment. And sir, I, I, sir this is the relevant judgment, that specific portion. He told him that's travel. Our job is done. And the client was satisfied and he handed over his entire case to us. And we were like, bravo. <laughs> so research is very important. And there are various stories. Sometimes you feel, okay, I come from this family. I have no godfather. I have family responsibilities. Uh, uh, my schooling was not that good. With, which like empower me with skills to be able to compete in legal field. So there are few stories of some like legal luminaries which were there in the legal field and which are also presently available with us and we will discuss something about change. Uh, Justice S.S. Kapadia. How many know about Justice Kapadia? Anyone? Justice Kapadia was the 38th Chief Justice of India and initially he was a law clerk when he was in Bombay he did his like initially he did his intermediate after that he became a law clerk in a lawyer's office the clerks and after that while he was on a clerkship he was like maintaining his family he was on a clerkship his senior the lawyer over there asked him to appear for LLB and get into this and he get into the three year legal course after like obtaining his graduation degree and after getting into that legal field he was nominated after like multiple decades of practice he was nominated to the honorable bombay high court and from there he was nominated to supreme court and he became the chief justice of india who was a law clerk once so this is the story of justice ss kapadia and Nani Palkiwala, how many of you have heard about Mr. Nani Palkiwala? No one? None? One, one or two hints from the students. Nani, Keshwananda Bharti, judgment ke wale ke ho Keshwananda Bharti is 13 judges bank judgment. He was the like advocate for the petitioner over there. And basic structure doctrine, kitne log jante? Basic structures ke wale to aadhe gaya hai news channels pe. So he was the propounder of basic structure doctrine. He advanced this argument that the parliament cannot legislate upon the basic structure of the constitution. So initially there was no one in the family who was a lawyer and he was having that stammering problem in his college days. stammering fear of stage and he was having that stammering problem. And thereafter he was having no command over English, Kuch nahi aata. And thereafter he he did his English honors from St. Stephen's. Then he again came back to practice. 
और उसके बाद रेस्ट इज हिस्ट्री ही वाज द एडवोकेट इन केशवनंद भारती केस ही आर्ग्यूड लाइक व्हेन ही वाज आर्ग्यूइंग तो उस समय ऐसा होता था कि इवन द जजेस ऑल द 13 जजेस वर ऑल इयर्स टू हिम जब वो आर्ग्यू करते थे नानी पाली वाले साहब तो हर कोई सुन लेता था और ये और कई बार ऐसा होता था कि उन्होंने इनिशियली स्टार्टेड हिज प्रैक्टिस ऑन टैक्सेशन साइड और जब वो किसी बजट पे अपना स्पीच देते थे तो उनके बजट के स्पीच में इतना भीड़ होता था कि उसके लिए स्टेडियम बुक करना पड़ता था तो पूरा स्टेडियम बुक होता था थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल आर देयर कि बजट तो सुन लेते थे लेकिन अब नानी पाली वाला साहब क्या बोलेंगे टैक्सेशन के बारे में बजट के बारे में डिफरेंट गवर्नमेंट हाउसेस सब लोग वहां रहते थे तो ही वॉज नानी पाली वाला एंड राम जेक मनानी यू नो दैट एंड ही वॉज सेवेंटीन ही डिड इज लॉ and he did all those to ki kahani hai ki his friend was also a lawyer in pakistan when he did his law he came to india he was there in pakistan there after he, he got into practice aur yahan pe he became a law minister after like serving on the supreme court for many years he became the law minister aur in jo friends hai he became the law minister of pakistan both became the law minister this is ramdev patel sir the next slide So there are various opportunities. So what you require is the information that, like most of the students are here, are going to be the first generation lawyers, and it is very difficult initially to like get a grasp of that how one should start his or her journey in the legal field. When we get into practice, क्या होता है? कुछ पता नहीं सीनियर्स जब जब इनिशियली मुझे ध्यान है जब मैं गया था आई वाज वर्किंग इन साकेत कोर्ट एंड माय सीनियर टोल्ड मी सात साल तो स्पोर्ट में लगेंगे आपको साकेत में सात साल यहां पे लगेंगे तब आपको समझ में आएगा सेवन इयर्स इट्स अ लॉन्ग टाइम उसके बाद मैंने डेढ़ महीने में वहां जॉब छोड़ दिया एंड आई गेट इन टू वन लॉ फॉर्म वहां पर मैंने दो तीन महीने काम किया फिर आई लाइक डिट माई Uh, practice with Rajvir Gul sir, and there I stayed for one and a half years. So we must see how it goes. So initially, always remain with a senior who teaches you everything. Okay, teaches you multiple facets of the law. कि क्या होता है कि बस आपको बताने के लिए थोड़ा time हो और कोई आपको कुछ बता नहीं रहा है लेकिन मैं क्या करना है तो initially do not go for money कि मुझे इतना पैसा मिलेगा. कोई ध्यान है व्हेन आई वाज लाइक आफ्टर माय ग्रेजुएशन देयर वर मेनी फ्रेंड्स ऑफ माइन वो आर गेटिंग गुड पैकेजेस फ्रॉम वेरियस लॉ फर्म्स ओके आई हैव गॉट 6 लाख पैकेज 7 लाख पैकेज एंड आई वाज लाइक आई वाज लाइक आई एम गेटिंग 8000 गवर्नमेंट टैक्स 15000 20000 30000 दैट्स इट नॉट मोर देन दैट एंड मुझे लगा था मैं क्या करूं मतलब मैं लेकिन आई वाज लर्निंग फ्रॉम क्योंकि आप छोटे छोटे लॉ ऑफिस से बहुत कुछ सीख सकते हो बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू डू एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम ड्राफ्टिंग फ्रॉम क्लाइंटिंग फ्रॉम फाइलिंग फ्रॉम गोइंग टू कोर्ट from clerkship from arguing in the court everything you like get to learn from the small law offices or always remember this thing that always get something like commercially when you are serving some law office kisi ke liye free mein kaam nahi karna hai kyunki jo vyakti aapko initially after you obtain your law degree agar jo vyakti aapko bolega nahi nahi main tumhe sikha raha hu kyunki kai baar aisa hota hai ki i am teaching you Like many things, why should I pay you for that? They can always try to like negotiate on this point. At least give me something, because when he will give you something, he will like go on the point. I'm a better person than you. And in that process, you will learn all the technicalities of law. So always negotiate on this point that, no, if you push me, you just give me something. Okay? So this is how you are going. to explore your legal avenues and uh, my best wish to all of you to all of you and if you are having any specific queries and questions pertaining to the present session or pertaining to any legal queries we can take it you can raise your hand and you can ask the question 